We've created the Beirut Advanced School of International Humanitarian Law to prepare upcoming humanitarian lawyers to give life-saving legal advice, to protect human dignity in times of chaos and intense contrast, and most importantly, to anchor peace in our societies. Our highest joint mission in the Arab region is to create the best learning conditions for all Arab students and professionals who want to reach their full potential as leaders of world's best compliance practices, honoring universal human values and ethical decision-making. Well, Beirut, this is where it all starts. For uh, many IHL Arab practitioners, everything related to IHL started there. For decades, Beirut has served as the IHL regional hub for the ICRC trainings in the Middle East. Uh, I myself, uh, a few weeks after the 2006 war in Lebanon, I participated in one of those trainings. Uh, uh, at the time, I was representing the Egyptian Public Prosecution Office, uh, and I remember it was the moment when I decided that it's IHL that I want to work for and live by. I'm looking very much forward to the Beirut Advanced School of IHL for the Arab world for different reasons. First, the substance, uh, international humanitarian law, in particular the Geneva Conventions, are very important, in particular for the Arab world, where we have a lot of armed conflicts and they contain the rules of behavior which should guarantee a minimum of humanity in a profoundly inhumane situation which is armed conflict. An important aspect of this school is the methodology, that it will be a very interactive methodology. Uh, there will be no famous professor teaching students the truth and uh, students take note of the truth. Uh, uh, participants will study before the face-to-face -face course in Beirut and then we will discuss cases of contemporary practice in international humanitarian law based on questions to which different answers can be given. While IHL is so important for the entire world, its significance is multiplied in this part of the world. Each implementation of IHL in the Middle East could lead to saving thousands, if not millions, of lives on a daily basis. Therefore, I would say that studying IHL is not this uh, luxurious intellectual journey any longer. It is basically a matter of life and death. Therefore, I would call on my fellow Arabs to seize this unique learning opportunity to equip themselves with the necessary uh, theoretical, methodological, and practical knowledge which would enable them to contribute somehow in creating this Middle East in which we all deserve to live. A successful student of this school has a powerful grit, a sense of truth, a sharpened discernment and feeling of responsibility, an urge to create and inspire in complex environments, and freedom to thrive in authenticity and excellence. Every community deserves such powerful citizens.